Oh, we're about to have a lot of fun now. Our next guest is a cookbook author who got her start ripping short recipes out of magazines at, of all places, the doctor's office. Then she went on the hunt for new takeout spots. And finally, she did the unthinkable. Yes, ladies, she invited her mother-in-law over to cook. Uh-oh, you hear the music? Dun-dun-dun. Okay, Jessica Harper is here. She <laughs> used to be an enthusiastic cook, but she turned crabby. So she put her experience into a survival guide of sorts called the Crabby Cook Cookbook, and she's here to share a few of her crabby recipes. Good to have you here. Thanks for having but me, you're Audrey. smiling. You look so happy, though. You're not crabby. Oh, you should <laughs> see me at home. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you crabby? Was it the mother-in-law coming over to help you cook? You know, the truth of the matter is it was my family that made me crabby. Really? They're such picky eaters. Oh. And, I mean, now my children have grown up and they're not as picky as they used to be. My husband yeah. has also grown up, but he's as picky as he was when he was six. Really? He's the worst. And are you a picky out. eater? No, I'm You're like not. a goat. I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just graze around everything, right? right? Exactly. Okay, so you, you, the book has some really funny moments in there. You kind of laugh about the fact that back at home you didn't like making potato salad because you have to peel the potatoes. Right. And that you have, what is it, H-A-S, hostess, uh, hostess anxiety. Hostess anxiety syndrome, that crazy feeling you get when you wake up in the morning before a dinner party and you go, oh gosh, is my menu any good? Mm -hmm. Do I have Ma napkins that match? Do I have eight <laughs> wine glasses? I you know. Right. So with the, the recipes that you have here, because your family is very picky eaters, mm -hmm. a lot of people are picky eaters, right. you kind of tailor a lot of the meals and they're very easy to, to make. Right. right? They're, they're pretty simple to prepare and I think they have broad appeal. They've been tested on my picky eaters at home. <laughs> And over and okay. over again, and they, uh, it's, yeah, it's for, you know, they, they appeal to almost everybody. Okay. So that's the idea of the book. What are we making first over here with the chicken? What's now, this, this called? Is, I love this. I make it probably a little bit too often because it's so easy. <laughs> this is called chicken teriyaki-ish because it's not a classic <laughs> chicken teriyaki, but it's, it, you know, it has okay. a lot of those Asian flavors. Right. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to mix a half a cup of soy sauce, mm -hmm. half a cup of brown sugar. And these are recipes that you can have tried here, there, added a little bit, you know, exactly. here and there to get it to the right yeah, spot. Yeah, and, and okay. using ingredients that, you know, my family would tolerate. Mm -hmm. I don't tell them I'm putting fresh ginger in here, otherwise they might not. <laughs> Surprise, right? They don't really know, yeah, they don't know about that. But. Okay, fresh ginger, was that fresh mustard ginger. on the other side? Yeah, I put there? in some mustard. Okay. I needed that, my little mini spatula here. I put in some uh, Dijon mustard, mm -hmm. and I put in some fresh ginger and some fresh minced garlic and now I'm putting in, oh that smells so good, does, now I'm putting in some freshly ground pepper and that's it with the soy sauce and the brown sugar. Okay. And then all you do is throw that over your, these are chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. My husband is so picky he won't eat dark meat so I, I actually <laughs> make these with chicken breasts but chicken really? thighs they're delicious and okay. you just let it marinate overnight or you can put it in in the morning and, mm -hmm. and then throw it in the oven in 350 oven for about an hour. And the here's evening. the finished product. And here's the finished good. product. I like that. Okay. And with a lovely little cucumber salad that's also in the book. It's called Minty Cuke Salad, which would you like to Minty make Minty Cuke Salad? Yeah. How'd you get that name? I don't know. I made it up. You just made it up. All right. I like you. I like you a lot. Yes, I'll help you out. Whatever right, you need so to you, do. All you do is throw in some sliced cucumbers in okay. with some butter lettuce. All right. And then you're just going to want to whisk up. I made a little dressing that has champagne vinegar. And uh, it's got uh, a little bit of honey in it, mm -hmm. olive oil, and freshly chopped mint. Oh, And we're just going to throw that in. And then if you'd all like, you can there. zest a little tiny bit of lemon over that. This and smells got, really good. I like Ooh, this a lot. That, I know. Doesn't and that smell good? Dessert. What are we got to have the brownies yeah. because my husband is a chocoholic. Mm. And this recipe is a recipe I worked on for years, testing and retesting, because he's so picky about his brownies. Is his name Tom? Yes, his name is Tom. Because that's what they're called, Tom's they're brownies, They're called right? Tom's brownies. Okay. And got uh, salted cocktail peanuts in them, which is kind of what sends it. them over the edge. They're so good. <laughs> sends them over the edge. You <laughs> sent me over the edge just now. This was a lot of fun. I love it. Love it. Crabby cook with a smile on her face. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jessica. We appreciate it. And Thank to you. soothe your inner crabby, because we all have some in there somewhere. Make sure to pick up a copy of her book. It's called The Krabby Cook Cookbook. It's out now.